Good morning guys, how are you this morning? Um, yes, I'm wearing a little microphone because I'm recording on my phone. Um, my battery died in my camera and I don't want to put another battery in there because I want to charge them because we're going on a trip tomorrow. I'm going to put this on my shirt because I feel like it keeps moving. There we go. Um, yeah, because we're taking a trip tomorrow, so I want to make sure that all my camera stuff is charged and ready to go. Um, so, uh, right now I'm just getting my book bag packed for, um, the hubby's chemo appointment this morning. So, I keep looking this way. I need to be looking that way because that's where the camera is. Not over here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he has chemo this morning. Um, so I got up. Um, I, uh got myself together as you guys can see I brushed my teeth washed my face you know pulled my hair back um, I just wanted to have it out of my face today so I just pulled it back and, um, but but yeah so I'm just trying to get like I said get my back together for his chemo today I'm gonna edit while we're there so I'm taking my headphones my um, oh sorry my nose started burning my nostril um, taking, you know, my memory cards, my computer, my headphones, stuff like that. Um, I did buy a, um, I don't know what they're called, but they hold the, um, external hard drives, like the little external portable hard drives. It holds it out onto your laptop without like you having to worry about it falling and disconnecting from your computer. Let me show you guys. I have it right here. Don't mind this thing. This is just an adapter because I don't have all these ports on my computer. But this little black thing. See, my my external hard drive is in there. So that way I don't have to worry about it falling off my laptop or disconnecting. Um, because in the middle of editing, there's nothing like your um, hard drive disconnecting from your laptop and having to start over. Yeah, I've had that happen and it's a pain in the ass. So this thing was on Amazon for like... I don't know 12 bucks or something probably not even that um i will link it down below but perfect little thing and i like this one because it actually has a cover lip All, a lot of the other ones you just like slide it in and then there's nothing on this side but this one i like because no matter which way i hold it this thing is not coming out whereas the other ones depending on how you put it on if you turn it a certain way it'll slide out so um i like this investment sorry y'all be sound is so Winded. I be sounding so winded. I need to get myself together. But I just took my vitamins for the morning. Um, and I did something different this morning, guys. Um, I know, like, there was just parts of video clips in the last vlog where I was like, you know, oh, curse like sailors on my channel and stuff like that. And um, it's been a few days since that clip, but something in me is like pulling me closer to God so I want to try to curse less and so that in turns means cursing less on my channel so um I'm gonna try to do that hold me accountable y'all if y'all hear me do it call me out so I can stop so um this morning I had an awesome morning um I have my morning routine y'all know my gut is really bad so I always wake up and I'm in the bathroom for a while and stuff like that and um so I uh this morning I had this morning with God um listening to scripture um praying um listening to uh some people talk about certain things reading through certain things and it overall was such a great morning like it set my intentions for today in such a positive way that I feel awesome so as soon as I was done with that I said you know what normally you guys see me I'm in my bonnet I am you know looking like I just woke up but um this morning I said you know what let me get myself together after the scripture I felt so awesome and I was just like you know let me get myself together so I did literally yes I'm still in my pjs but I overall got myself together which was awesome so I think I want to start doing that each morning because I feel so much more better 
mentally right now um physically as well don't feel too bad but um yeah i think i'm gonna start doing that each morning but okay let me get my bag together because it's 6 11 the hubby's probably gonna be waking up within like the next 20 minutes i think he's getting up at 6 30 and then we gotta go to his appointment we have to be there today at chemo at 7 30 7 30 or 7 45 all i know is that it's earlier than well i get to say earlier than normal i feel like we've been there around this time before but it's still early <laughs> but honestly i'd rather get it out the way i would rather just get it out the way i'd rather um I'd rather just knock it out and get on with the day. My plan after his chemo appointment this morning um, is to come back, pack my suitcase. I, I'll pack with you guys. Um, it's just a overnight, like, but we're, we're going to spend, you know, like a good day and a half into two days, you know, because we don't check in until 4 p.m. tomorrow, but we're going to leave here early enough where we can explore the city and leave here so it takes about three two and a half to three hours to get there so we're probably gonna leave around like 10 or 11 a.m so if we left at 10 11 12 it'll get us there about one and we'll have three hours to explore before we have to check in at our hotel so i'm gonna try to film as much as i can okay i'm gonna try to film as much as i can i think this is gonna be an awesome little getaway even though it's like overnight trip that's not too far from us it's still a little getaway from home which will be really nice like I need to really figure out this eating like I'm eating healthier and I'm lo I've lost a few pounds over this past week but um my stomach still has been jacked up and literally I've been eating mainly like um fruits vegetables and meat and like my my carbs that I intake are like rice cakes or um sometimes potatoes that was probably once within the, like the past two weeks um like healthier carbs versus like processed carbs and processed stuff but um i think the fiber is fucking me up because my my severe ibs my my gi does not like fiber it does not like a lot of fiber because i don't have no problem using the bathroom at all i don't need fiber so um so i need to change some stuff up and eat less fibrous foods and in the low fodmap diet i am supposed to be eating less fibrous foods but I caved in one day and ate some broccoli. Yeah. Nope. Can't mess with the broccoli right now. Um, I need to just keep listening to my body and change it. But I am doing good though. Like I said, um, when I just was starting out before like intentionally eating healthier, I was 248 pounds and I lost 3 pounds. So I'm 245 as of today. So, um... I'm going to keep having that scale go down, y'all. Um, I think later on tonight, I may even go for a walk. Um, I wanted to go for a walk last night, but um, I don't know why I didn't, honestly. Honestly, I couldn't tell you why, but I'm just going to drink some water this morning. Um, this is just room temperature water. It was cold. some breakfast about to go back in the back for the chemo place we're gonna knock this appointment out but i'm gonna eat and edit i got some eggs bacon and hash brown hey guys it's been about two hours since that last clip we're still here um i'm just editing right now um the next vlog because since we're going on this getaway i want to get the vlog edited so that way I don't have to worry about it um, since we'll be traveling. We're finally done with the chemo today and uh 
Now it's time to go chill and pack our bags for tomorrow. I'm so excited about tomorrow. On to do one errand just to stop and grab some stuff that we're gonna need for our trip tomorrow. And then, um, and then go home. Good morning, guys. Oh, packing my suitcase. But as you guys can see, all of my clothes are laid out. I just have to fold them and put them in my suitcase. And then I have the other stuff over on the desk um, that I'm putting between my suitcase and my, um, like, everyday bag. You know, like my bag, my purse bag. Yeah. I'm just going to pack my suitcase now. And then when the hubby gets up, I'll shower and stuff like that before we head out. Okay guys, I am pretty much ready to go. I showered, got dressed. I just put my hair up for right now. I'm not keeping it this way. I only put it up this way for when I showered. But, uh, I'm trying to debate if I want to keep it up or not. Maybe I should do two little pigtails. Oh, right on. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But so. I need to get myself something to eat. Um, got my camera stuff. <sighs> yeah, need to get myself together. I'm so excited. So, just gonna get myself together, eat a little bit, and what I'll probably do is see you guys on the road. Probably just see y'all on the road. Hey guys, we're officially on our way on our little vacation. So I told y'all I would come back on. We are heading out and we are heading out officially. We just stopped at um, Quick Trip and grabbed like some uh, jerky and I grabbed something to drink. I have other stuff to drink in the back, but I just wanted something to drink for right now. Uh, we brought like snacks and stuff and um, we have jackets because it's actually a lot cooler today than it has been the past few days. Um, and then our bags are in the trunk. Thank you to the hubby for putting it in there for us. So our stuff is in there, but I'm so excited. So um, after this part, it's probably going to be montage stuff with the sightseeing that we see from there. And then, I, you know, obviously I'll come on and talk to you guys, but... Um, I'm just excited because even though it's still in our state, I've never been there and the hubby knows that one of my goals and dreams um, in, you know, stuff that I can do soon is explore Wisconsin. There's so much stuff that I have not seen or I haven't been to since I was a little kid. So I'm super excited to explore my own state and to show you guys as well for if you ever come and visit here if you guys ever come to like a packer game and you guys want to explore green bay i want to show you guys what's around you know so enjoy this trip to monaco wisconsin that we're going to
Hey guys, let me turn off this bathroom thing. Cause that fan. But we just made it to our hotel and it is super nice and rustic and oh I should have I forgot to lay down my little curls. They're sticking out. Oh well, but we just made it and I want to give you guys a room tour. Hold on one second. So when you walk in, you have like a little open closet and this is the sink. It is separate from the bathroom. The bathroom, pretty simple. I love the woodwork. Just the toilet and a tub, like super, super simple. Um, it did come with two queen beds. We love the wood. Oh, I didn't even realize they had a the, um, oh, it's another little closet space. But iron, I might need that. And <laughs> they, like, it's cabin-esque in this whole entire place. Like, even down to the pictures on the, above the bed. But this is the best part of it over here. Well, we got a balcony. Look at this, like, just gorgeous. Just surrounded by woods. Like, you couldn't ask for a better getaway, and it's so quiet. Absolutely love it. Make him sit out here later, probably see a dang on deer or a bear or something. But we're in Monaco, Wisconsin. Yeah, there's a bear in the lobby. His name is Cody. But we are, are like gonna eat dinner earlier than expected, but we don't mind because we'll be able to come back here, relax, enjoy this. I know I'm gonna come sit out here. Um, like, look at how glowy I look just from the atmosphere. It's It's really awesome. But we are going to go get some dinner because we're both hungry. We didn't eat eat today, so let's get some food. We're going to the boathouse. Yeah, so we'll see you guys there. We made it to the restaurant. It's called the boathouse. Inside the restaurant and look at our view literally by the water this is our view while we're eating lunch slash dinner mm. it is so gorgeous out here she said this building has been around for a very long time yeah yep it gets really nice in here i just got this drink it's an old-fashioned Strong. Look at the little details. The nautical ship and anchor, the ship wheel anchor. I think these are cherries. They go with the view, which is really beautiful. I'm scared to eat these. They probably got more alcohol in them than the damn drink. <laughs> you could be sliding me to the car. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna try one, y'all, with you guys. Let's okay. try it. Y'all hear it? Oh, it's just in alcohol. You can literally get drunk off of eating just those. I'm just supposed to food on my stomach. I'm gonna have to make sure I eat a few of them pretzels. That's strong. Our appetizer, look how big these are. Like, they're humongous. Dig in. We got our food. I got grilled shrimp, shrimp tacos and their homemade potato chips, coleslaw. This is a Chipotle ranch sauce. And he got basically like a French dip. French, oh, a French dip with a Jew. Mushrooms. Look at those big old mushrooms. Look at that. But it looks so good. And he got homemade fries, coleslaw, and that's the Jew sauce. But he's ready to tap out already. And all we had was two pretzel sticks. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we're done eating, guys, at the boathouse. If you're ever in Manaqua, it is really good. This place is so nice. I would highly recommend it. Look at our beautiful backyard, or our, this is our patio of our suite here, and literally we are in the woods. It's windy as heck out here, like, it's supposed to rain in a bit, but it is so beautiful. I'm so glad we came out here. It's so nice. The drive was awesome. The drive was scenic. Not like how you'll be like if you're out on the West Coast with uh with like mountains and stuff like that, but I know it would be even more beautiful if it was the fall with that fall foliage. But even now, like you guys see I'm out here with no coat on. Um it's windy, but it's not like cold cold. Um it's 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 awesome i am so enjoying myself so um i'm just gonna sign out now I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this evening with the hubbies we may go explore a little bit more um but yeah i'll sign out now i'll see you guys in the morning when we're gonna have breakfast and get ready to check out and stuff and if i see any animals i'll let you guys know because i wouldn't be surprised if we see like some turkeys or some deer or even some bear out here um we're in indian territory land so a lot of this stuff is untouched um it's not constructed through with buildings and things like that so you're gonna see a lot more nature out here so i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> but i will see you guys in the morning gonna enjoy the night with my hubby and call it a day for the night Good morning guys I've been up since 5 like at home you know nothing new but we went down to try to eat breakfast wasn't a big selection at all so we'll eat at home right it was a womp womp they had just like waffles bagels toast and boiled eggs like no scrambled eggs no breakfast meat like nothing Oh, and these plants. Right. I might as well that ate, uh, ate that deer that was back here yesterday. But, you know, I think these hotels also need options for people who can't have dairy. Like, at least a dairy-free option of yogurt. Like, there's nothing for people who have any type of specialty diet, you know? So, I mean, this lady are both on the same page. And that's, we connected through that, through our damn stomachs. But, literally, we're about to pack up our stuff. And we were gonna head out, check out at 11, it's 8.20 right, or 8.15 right now. We're just gonna pack up and head home. We've been super enjoying ourselves. Um, yeah, our favorite baby's at home, we gotta check on her. And But um, we, we've we been having a, a, a good old time and like it, it was so needed. Like, yeah, oh, it, yeah, the hubby this morning, he's like, this, vacation just solidified but well, he didn't say vacation i'm saying vacation but he said it just solidified us sleeping here that we need new mattresses at home <laughs> we've been talking about getting a new mattress so we definitely need to look for a new mattress <laughs> but let's pack up guys
Let's get out of here, guys. Made it back to Green Bay, guys, and I'm gonna show you guys Lambeau Field. Title Town over here. There's a lot of businesses and restaurants, golf place. Here's Lambeau Field. The holy grail of football. Y'all, this trip has been amazing. Like, me and the hubby both been enjoying ourselves to the fullest. And it wasn't, like, it didn't have to be too much, which made it perfect. Yep. Like, we no enjoyed each we enjoyed each other more than everything else. Even though I absolutely love the thrift shop. And it's called Glass Light Antiques. If y'all are ever in um, Nakwa, go there. It's so awesome. There's two levels, but go upstairs. Is so is so awesome. Pull up to our special park. Where's the front? Must be over there. That's the emergency exit. Long corner. I mean, yeah. We're at Lone Star. I'm saving those for. I'm taking those home. These onion petals, super good. That, amazing. But y'all know I have to get another old fashioned. Cheers. We decided to stop and get lunch on the way home before getting back to our comfort. We safely made it back home, guys. And we, you guys saw, we stopped at Lone Star. That was awesome. We have so much food left. We have enough food for dinner tonight because it's like going on one o'clock now and we're full. So we probably won't eat till like four or five o'clock. So we have enough left for dinner and possibly even breakfast slash lunch tomorrow. So, um, but we're going to chill for now. I'll probably come back on and talk to y'all later after we relax for a bit after driving for three hours and then now being stuffed with food. But I wanted to let you guys know we made it back. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha